I want to find out the internal resistance and the EMF of this battery. I'll put the battery into this holder. And I'll connect up a voltmeter and an ammeter to measure the terminal voltage and current drawn from the battery. Let's start with the voltmeter. You can see when I take no current from the battery, I get this voltage. Now let's connect the ammeter. And I'll use this resistance as the load. I'm going to connect the, the load up, but I want you to check what happens with both the current and the voltage at the moment when I do that. You can see it's drawing a current from the battery, but the voltage has gone down. The terminal voltage has reduced. I don't want to do that for very long because drawing a large current from a battery is not very good for the battery. It causes it to overheat. But I do want to repeat the experiment. And this time I'm going to use this resistance. I've used four of these two ohm resistors instead of just one, but they're all in parallel, so that's a lower resistance. I'm trying to get a higher current. Let me connect that one up. And again, when I do this final connection, I want you to see that the battery voltage is going down and the current is being read. Here we are. So a larger current and a greater decrease in the terminal voltage. As I say, that is not very good for the battery, causes it to overheat, but we're going to do it again. We're going to put in a still lower resistance. I've got 10 of those two ohm resistors this time around. Let's see what happens when I connect that one in. Greater current again, and the terminal voltage of the battery has been reduced to almost half of its original value. Let's not do that for very long because that will overheat the battery. I can take this one step further by short circuiting the battery. Just connecting it directly across the ammeter and you can see that the terminal volts goes down even more when I'm getting over 5 amps of current. But the battery will be getting quite warm from drawing so much current.